my I life is just literally awkward moments. And, <laughs> like and this one right here? Like this one that just is very, happening right yes, now? Yes. <laughs> this, is, this is episode two of Joe's and I's podcast. And last week's episode, we didn't have a name. And we were begging Mike from the January house to come on with us. And uh, he's not ready yet. So, <laughs> Yeah, he's really not ready yet. We've enlisted the help of, of someone else. Uh, you guys settled. School. I get it. You guys yeah. settled. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Settled with o- o- old school uh, flips, Jimmy, formerly of the reseller clickbait podcast. Um, yep. But just, Jimmy, you're here until Mike says he's ready to come on the show with us. So just so you know. So don't be all too right. comfortable down there, all right? <laughs> just want to make I sure mean, I'm, I'm, I, I, I probably shouldn't. This is almost like a, a thing for me. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> but, so, but, but, Jimmy, we, we, we welcome you with uh, open arms, even though you're you're not Mike. Yeah, and Mike, if you're like, hearing this, Mike, that ate too many hamburgers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, ten too Mike, many hamburgers? Hand, hamburgers. I don't know if Mike Mike likes quesadillas. Do you like quesadillas? Oh, I love a quesadilla. He loves chi- every time I talk to him, he's making a chicken quesadilla. Interesting. I would I would have never guessed Mike. If you're talking to him, that's the one thing he's doing is making a chicken. Better ramen. Well, he's usually listening, but he if he's eating, he's like, oh, I got to eat something. He's like, oh, he's either making ramen or case chicken quesadillas. Joe's computer blew up. Oh my god, Joe! <laughs> it just blew up. Am I back? You're back, yeah. but your your your, okay. your computer that yelled at it you. It looks like you're gonna like blew up. pass out for a second there, Joe. Oh, uh, well, I apologize. Well, I, 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 I have really like, gone. Yeah. Well. I mean, I, I I read through the the contract and it was in the fine print. I mean, I had a I told you. <laughs> see, <laughs> contract. But I did. I did have. I did have a. Uh... <laughs> Joe, is this such a jerk? <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm not on the reseller clickbait podcast anymore. Um, I we hit a couple roadblocks over there, and here I am. I wish those guys nothing but. Success over there because we're gonna have success over here. Oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Since nice. you're speaking of, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> Wait. Oh, that was the greatest segue, unintentional segue ever. But you, you, yeah, pretty much, another, we we're gonna talk about first. Like we don't want to. We're we don't want to. I, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know where to go from there. <laughs> what the heck? We're doing talking video. about Joe's computer. Joe sent us a video. We're getting like here. We're all, we're all excited to to do this second episode. I'm all like I'm nervous. I'm sweating. I'm like I'm excited to be that you guys would even give me a chance, even though I reached out to like seven or eight big channels that had over a hundred thousand subs, and they all they all said no. They all said they no. all had over a hundred thousand. Yeah, that was my um first you know what? prerequisite is they had to have at least a hundred thousand subs before <laughs> I would ask them. No. All right. I, um and so so no but joking I'm I'm like excited I'm ready to rock and roll and then Joe's like look at what's going on with my computer <laughs> what, what I don't I, I don't know what happened with the computer what I, happened I, with I, it? I don't know so I was yelling at him I know that yeah I was I was running around trying to get some stuff pictured to do some listening today when we get done and I'm dog sitting puppy sitting whatever so my my brother's going to where's he going oh he's going to New York so he was leaving uh, and the dog was getting dropped off like right when we were I was supposed to be sitting down here and I wanted to make sure I got to Goodwill this morning to get some stuff to list and I was picturing it so when we get done I can do my I can do my listings for today so well, I already did my shipping you guys do your shipping I got half of it done I still have to do a couple more I oh. shipped like 34 today it was a good weekend 34 oh. out the door yeah Dude, really it was uh, uh, go ahead. it was really bad for me I was, it was bad for me I was I thought I thought this was going to take longer for for me to get my <laughs> shipping done to get to the post office, but going into yesterday, I had one. I only had one sale for the weekend, <laughs> and then I ended up with uh, I think seven, seven for I'm, the weekend. That's had, a rough I, weekend. That's a rough weekend. Yeah, yeah. I I had thirteen, so that's not bad. No, I'm so, ha- happy with that. I mean, I had twelve guys. I only had twelve. No, but when I say 34. I packed order, when I say I packed, actually it was thirty nine. I think I got to check. Sonia, Sonia will tell you because she did most of them. Oh, uh, I'm the Kevin. Uh, I'm you're, Kevin. You're, what, the, you're I'm one of those guys. guys. Yeah, I'm one uh, of those guys. Okay. I'm a one man so, show over here. Uh, uh, same here. No, honestly, she packs all the small stuff, and then I pack anything that needs like a Franken box or is heavy or bigger items. 
So she ends up packing more because she's literally just throwing it in either a bubble mailer or a poly bag or a small box where I'm literally taking three priority mail boxes and making this crazy box that I don't even need to make. I just get bored and decide to make a crazy box. You just make boxes on your, like, it's like a pro- like art project? Yeah, it becomes like, I'm like the, it's like origami with boxes for me, yeah. And Sonya's like, what are you making a, why are you making a swan over there? You're supposed to be boxing that thing. <laughs> So like uh, when we talked to when we were talking to you the other day, you made it. You you did that. Uh, what was it like a, a trash can, right? It was a big old. Oh yeah, yeah. You Joe has a, a couple of those things. Yeah. What, what kind? I don't of, have a, I don't I don't have them listed yet, and I still didn't go out to see what brand it is. So did you ask Lauren if you could sell them? Oh, uh, clearance put that from off, the tower. I'm gonna put that off down the line. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Maybe if I, maybe maybe if I list it and sell it first, then then I'll ask. Well, what that... was that brand again? What was the brand? United, United. I think. I think it was United. United? Um, yeah. They're like the old like seventies, eighties torpedo shaped trash cans. It's a bolo. I I actually shout out if you guys don't mind, Len fifty two eighty finds out there in Colorado when I live out there. He taught me about them, and so That's... I was at Arsenal and I saw one. And I was like, man, I remember Len saying. That's literally what went through my head. Len said something about this. I'm gonna go look it up. So I looked it up. I got it for ten bucks, and it was even a it was a conversation that was further than that. Like another seller was like, eh, "I sold mine for one eighty, and I was like, "Man, I see comps that tell me this is gonna go for over two hundred. So I listed for two fifty, and I got two twenty plus. Hey, so I did flat rate shipping on it. I did fifty dollars flat rate shipping, and it only went to Kentucky. So my shipping cost was only twenty four dollars. So oh. I got two twenty, then I got twenty six dollars extra from shipping, that covered you know some of my fees and shipping. So yeah, I ended up doing really good on it. Because you're in totally you're fine. in Ohio now, and you were yeah, in Ohio. How much do you think it would have cost to ship from Colorado to Kentucky? A lot, yeah, really? over fifty dollars. It would have went over fifty because it was well, pretty heavy. It was my heavy luck, it would have sold to yeah. Hawaii, Alaska, <laughs> Guam, one of those places. <laughs> you're saying you got you got bad luck with shipping then, Joe. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah. Did you sh- wait? I don't. Did you say? Did you ship it Ground Advantage? Or no, I use UPS Ground for big stuff like that. I use UPS Ground. Um, and because you, for, I've found for the most part that's my cheapest option. Yeah. When you when you when you shipped it, it has the it has the liner and then the the outside piece, right? Yeah. Did, yeah. Did you ship it as a full trash can? Like you put the liner in it, and you know. So the liner's made out of like um, sheet metal also. So it was all steel. It was a heavy, all metal, sheet metal trash can. I took the liner out, I wrapped, and I wrapped it in paper, like loosely in paper, and then shoved that sucker back inside of it. Oh, so okay. yeah, I did. But I didn't want it like shaking. Right on around. Yeah. I didn't want it shaking everywhere and making all kinds of noise and annoying drivers and stuff like that. So <laughs> I put the paper inside of it to keep it from shaking. And then I actually... Hit it with some poly wrap, so nothing, so it didn't move as much. Um, and yeah, it was it. I, I had to make a box. That was one of those ones I was talking about. I took two Wal two Walmart large boxes, and I just literally brought them together, taped them around the middle, taped the edges, and it fit pretty dang good. And it's solid. It's solid metal. It I, it's gonna be fine. I I hope. I, so I, then when I, was, I was telling them about that and joe's like oh i got like seven of those just laying in my bag. oh yeah that's how joe is joe has he probably has at least 1.5 million dollars worth of inventory just sitting around uh, his house i like to exaggerate how many of those do you have joe i have two on hand yeah right. two on in, in that room that he's in right now they're, 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 no it, you have to go to the west wing oh, the west. <laughs> he probably got three more he just moved too <laughs> He, he was I living did. in Philly. Now he lives in a, a private private house, right? Fenced in community. Sure, sure, Dan. <laughs> I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you this much: I, I'm never moving again. I can't. Oh my god! I'm still not working. Well, I don't have to complain to you. You moved halfway across, across the country. <laughs> but, yeah. Doesn't it suck packing? Yeah. You, you think yeah. I don't have a lot of stuff? I'm gonna. Man, you can try to thin it out, and you still have so much stuff. Oh my gosh. My thing is just getting organized and set back up and things like that. And, you know, we did some work when we moved into the house. We knew we had to do some work when we bought it. And I focused a lot of that doing that, just painting, ripping carpets up, you know, replacing some ceilings. 
replacing ceiling fans. We oh, had wow. some lights put in, things, some electrical work, like all that stuff took, you know, was first. <laughs> and now I'm down here in the basement. I still have to paint the walls down here in the basement. Um, some insulation along the top here. I got to replace. Yeah. But I just my... can't find the time. I just can't find the time. Like the downstairs here is still a mess. I still have boxes everywhere. I'm still trying to organize everything. <laughs> well, the, 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 I, the mission state is it a mission statement. The whole point of our professional podcast is to have a professional podcast where people don't right. click off. So Joe messed it up the last time with his no headphones. I had to try to, <laughs> I had to try to cut out a minute and a half, but I think I figured out, it took me a long time to figure out how to edit on this. Cause I've always used iMovie for my videos. Now, now do you have, do you have that thing where it equalizes the sound or where it's all the same level? Are we doing that too? I have no idea. I can do that. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like, so like, I don't, even know what, I don't even know what that means. I, I when I listened to those, when I listened to the other uh, podcast, well, I think it was last week's on Trash to Cash. They mentioned so Dave said something about audio and how he said the uh, what is it? Fli- uh, Flipping Fantastics is that is that is that uh, ink yeah. ticker? Yep. There's they said that Hello. they had the best sound. Um, I ne- I've never really noticed or paid attention. Like they, I thought this was supposed to be just like regular like YouTube videos where it's like the best thing to get started is just get started and like just use. I use a phone <laughs> for a hundred. I was gonna do the podcast on my phone for the first hundred episodes before. <laughs> like I, 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 told, actual... I just told you I had seven sales this weekend. You think I'm gonna put out for a soundboard? Is that what I need? <laughs> soundboard. I need it. Make, I need to find some food to eat. Everybody start a Christmas list for Dan. He needs a soundboard, a microphone. <laughs> I have I have a microphone, which I have a blue. A microphone. blue snowball? Well, it, 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 but it's not hooked up. Look at the cord wrapped around it. <laughs> it doesn't do a lot of good. Well, <laughs> like that, Dan. The last time, because I have this on, and I was holding this and talking. Do that. Oh, see, that's where, that's where you have to normalize the audio when you do that. I don't even know what that means. Like, where do you? I don't know. <laughs> Or, I don't even know it what just, that means. It's hey. rid of the audio. Like when you're louder, you won't, you won't like blow someone's eardrums while they're listening. To it. Oh, I'm sorry. If you if I blew your eardrums out, I'm sorry. No, you're good. I'm no. It's just some people's microphones come in a little bit hotter. I think if that's a term. Well, I, is that, 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 that coming hey, in hot? Okay, coming like like in hot. So like you, if you put it in like a like I, my editor can do it and it does it. it just it's like. It's AI technology, folks. You just like and it'll it'll put all the so when you're editing a video, you got the audio peaks. This is fun stuff, kids. Pay attention. And it'll just like it'll it'll even them out to where there's no high spikes and there's nobody or or like if, let's say when you're talking, Dan, on the edit, it's louder than everybody else. It'll just bring you down a notch. And I'm when I when I do that, I'm actually saying, can we bring down just Dan just down another notch? <laughs> So how do you like? Is it on StreamYard or is it another software? I use the editor. I use um, Filmora, and it's an AI. It's like an AI tool that they offer. Oh, okay. I um, use. I mean, I don't think. I mean, we're, I'm assuming we're, I we're getting it. really fancy here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that might be. That's stuff. an off. That's an off-air topic. I think maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if other people. That's an off. I, I think because I think the big topic is is we kind of we still have, we still don't have a name for the for the show. Like, cause we're back yeah. on my channel again this week. We we, we were hoping to have a, a, a an actual channel that we're gonna do this on, but we're we're doing it on our channel, and it's gonna be episode two. It's gonna be really weird uh, that uh, when we do have a channel, it's gonna be the first episode just me and Joe, yep. and then the second episode it's gonna be us three, and then and the third episode Mike will be episode. in my place. Yeah, maybe <laughs> if I mean if we, if we're lucky. This is just gonna go for lucky. If we're lucky. <laughs> if we're lucky. <laughs> But what happens if what happens if you get a phone call back? Are those you, you say you reach out to seven or eight. How many have reached back to you? <laughs> Anyone? Um, Do, Joe and I have uh, anything to worry about. I mean, you have nothing to worry about. I'm the one Not that yet? has something to worry about. <laughs> Mike is, Mike's taking my job. <laughs> You're just gonna keep you get we unless Joe. I didn't ask. Did Lauren say anything about taking a day off a week to help in the background as a producer? Um, she submitted her resume. Uh, we'll have to go over it later. Off, oh, because I, I was going to say, it's another off-air topic. You love the off-air topics on here. 
Well, I just if, if she didn't want to do that, and then Mike does come back, which fingers crossed, that my, uh, Jimmy could be the the back backdoor producer. Oh, the back. <laughs> Yeah, that's, yeah, that's back door producer. That's, that's exactly what Jimmy that was wants my to be nickname back in high school. That's funny that you should mention that. <laughs> oh, you did a podcast in high school? <laughs> no, it was my nickname. Back oh. door producer. <laughs> no. Hey, there's your, there's your podcast name. I'm not oh, calling yeah. the podcast the back door podcast. <laughs> there's, plus, there's probably already one named that too. Just to, there's just probably a couple. There's every probably. everyone that every name that's been thrown out that we I've looked up or you've looked up it's every always dang taken. name that we look up it'd be the most ridiculous name, and it's taken by somebody like what is we and we had we had a let's just be honest with the with the listeners we had we kind of had a name right like and then oh, yeah. and then Dan was like how come seventy people already have this name well they're all like that I'll tell you right now you don't want to be known as the backdoor podcast. <laughs> Did you look it up? No, you looked it up right now. <laughs> I'm I did, just saying. I, no, I, do a, uh, out. I do a YouTube live. It's we're supposed to list on Saturdays. Uh, with I do it with Jakob and Jen from Jen's Multiverse. Yeah, Jakob yeah. Benz. Uh, and when I was talking about it, they, the chat was helping out with some names for for uh, for the podcast. And I wrote down some that I could remember and Ooh. like that I could fit on a post-it note. Off air so, topics. No, I thought we could. Oh, we're them. gonna go over them right now. We could just talk talk to them. We could just say them out loud. All right, that seems like I mean, right? But since, but how how do we get Mike's vote? Because since he's, yeah, he's it's complicated. Or hopefully, he's Mike's listening. Mike Mike says okay. he's gonna listen. All right, send us a text. What, what, what you, what you, <laughs> he might be. The my only mom, one. my mom listens. She listens. Your mom could be the vote, the, the okay. deciding vote. Lauren will Lauren will listen. Will Sonia listen? Yes, Sonia will yeah. listen. All right, so we, we have, have some th- votes. We have, we have three. Right. We have three definite. We're doing good. All right. <laughs> all right, let's hear. Let's hear the worst. Which one do you think is the worst one, Dan? Well, I wrote down. No, they're all good because it's, they're all I, good. All right. I wrote down. They gave me a lot, and I I could only I fit like eleven on here. Where did you was, get them again? Huh? Where did you get them again? I do a live listening on Saturday nights with right. uh, Jakob okay. Benz on his channel with yeah. uh, Jen's Multiverse, and so. A lot of people in there, they, they're spilling out names. I was trying to write them down as fast as I could. I know I missed some, but I, I'm not going to tell you. I liked all these that I said. All right. Like, I, but we're not married to any of these either, okay? Okay. Do you remember what, do, you, do you remember who, who said them so we can actually give them some credit if we do pick no, them? No, probably not. Okay. Probably. No, probably. Not. There's just no chance about that. They can probably tell me. if They, they ever probably own it. the rights. And you're they probably sure. do. They probably <laughs> said it and made the channel already, too. <laughs> The, there's one that is that flipping reseller show, which I think there's already a thing called that. I'm not sure. That it probably flipping, is. That I get, I get the fun. Show. I get the use the the fun use of words there. Yeah. All right. Uh, junk in the trunk, which I'm sure there's something <laughs> that kind of that's the same thing. Backdoor as, podcast. As, as your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to erase my history here. Hold on. <laughs> there is a. Uh, Buy low, sell high, which is wordy. That's wordy. A little bit, a little bit, but I like it. It's, not, it's, not, it's pretty good. Uh, oh, this one is is uh, from Tommy Bernard. It's the kitchen sink, which is kind of everything. Yep. Is also a uh, homage to the kitchen sink pizza that is at a world famous pizza here in uh, Portage, Indiana. Um, it costs over forty dollars to have it. It's called the kitchen sink and it has everything on it. It's amazing. So I'm sure hmm. they have a channel. It's probably called. I would that have already. expected something way more aggressive from Tommy Bernard. I'm not gonna lie. Well, Tom, Tommy's <laughs> very nice. He, he's always so sweet to me. So he, he's not gonna be aggressive with me. Uh, this is. Um, oh, this was um, Matt, the bearded poke tuber. Yes. Yeah. No mm-hmm. podcast for you. Ooh, which is that's, homage that's to a Seinfeld right? That's a song. Which, a show that I've never I, watched and I absolutely hate. This show's over now, right? You don't <laughs> like some? You, you've never seen I it? Or you, you, I just you've got never booted. seen it or you don't like it? Ooh, I love that show. You do? <laughs> yeah, I want to stay on the podcast. <laughs> no podcast I, for you. No podcast for you. That's um, no. Um, I don't even that's know. All, that's likes. all that you got. That's all of them. No, no. I just I thought you're. I thought Joe was gonna. 
Well, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to make enemies with you with my how I feel about Seinfeld. I've never talked. You, you don't like Seinfeld either. I just never watched it. I just never got into it. Never watched it. <clears throat> I sold. I sold the DVDs. I thought I knew you, Joe. I have friends that like it. Does that count? Yeah. I love Seinfeld. <laughs> Lauren loves it. If that if that matters. That's, that's why I like Lauren. Oh, okay. Do you think Lauren would come on the podcast instead of you? <laughs> well, I mean, you're so quick. Hey, you <laughs> you're, you're so quick to kick you know everybody <laughs> off. So you might as well, you know. This this one. That's why he brought me. So when he does it, he won't feel so bad. It'll be easy transition. <laughs> oh. They got cash from trash, which is Ooh, is that's good. not stealing anything. I, it's, no, no. What would be stealing is if we called our podcast trash for cash like trash for hey i sold a trash can so hey and you got really cash. trash to cash no no your cash your trash for cash because trash <laughs> what? Cash is already taken. Trash can, we're for trash can for cash we're for, <laughs> we're, for. We're, we're not against we're for if we get a fourth it would be we could put the number four and it would or if we got rid of you me and yeah. oh, no. Me and Joe could be trash the number two and then cash. Trash. Yeah, that would be the number two. Because <laughs> I think it's just TO for them. But if we or I guess if it's if it's just us three, it could be F O R. It'd be trash F O R cash. Yeah. But if we got a fourth, we could be, be the trash number four. fourth cash. Four cash. Four, four cash. cash. The number four. It's not gonna be that. I wrote that one down because I thought that was <laughs> I like it. Trash for can you imagine being called trash for cash? If you wanted to start a podcast war, we call our we'll try we'll call our trash we'll call our podcast trash for And that's a war we would win, folks, just so you know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No. I don't know. We, no. We got Joe though. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure we'll lose that battle. Oh, I thought Joe froze. He just like closed his eyes. I think he's just wishing he was someplace else. <laughs> no, what he did is like they, they're right. They do have me, so we have a chance. <laughs> but but no. <laughs> but I don't know if I wrote this one down right. It says "Will It Money Podcast." I don't know. What... Will it money? Yeah, I don't Will... know why I wrote that. I don't think that's what it meant. It meant they has meant. they has they, has, they, has, they couldn't have meant that right. I don't even know what that means. Nobody knows yeah. what it means. Provocative, because I might have wrote it down wrong. I, I I have down. Did I stay awake for this? <laughs> I might have just. I could have just been writing that down because that was, was just your it. notes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling Jake you said that about the show. <laughs> and then I think the last one, uh, pocket change. Ooh, hey oh, that's not terrible. They're, they're all good. I, I, I appreciate I'm the help. torn. There's more. I couldn't keep up. I should have started. Any, I said if I took the paper down, I would forget. I would lose it and wouldn't have any more. So I stuck to all. all. <clears throat> but I think that's something we should focus on is a name, right? It would be a worst idea. I mean, it's. Worst. I mean, yeah. If, if there's a couple things you want to do when you start a podcast, to actually have a name. Because this is a professional podcast. We want to put it on. Actual, <laughs> a I haven't figured out. I, I figured out how I was using Anchor to do the, I, I to put the audio, but like I had already set up a audio thing on on Anchor, which is Spotify now or something, and oh, I had a different there. name on there entirely. Am I there? Yeah, you're. Yeah, you're there. So was it like what was the name? I can't say. You can't say because we're gonna because we're gonna use it, or is it because I don't know. Crap out somebody? No, I think there's already. Okay, I'll say it. It was. It was what's the deal? That was a name that Joe and I had thought of. It's called what's right. the deal. Ooh, that's so like cool. it could be like whatever. Like what's the deal with Mike saying no to us? Now we're stuck with Jimmy. <laughs> like that's here's the deal. What's the deal with Jimmy's face? Why is it on this podcast? Yeah. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> so it was that was that was one. But then so what's the deal? We're all I... excited about it. Yeah. What's the deal? And here that's the deal. What's the deal? What's the deal with? And then you talk about whatever you're going to talk about. What's, what's, what's the deal? So I, 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 I got all excited about that one. So I think that's I made my Spotify anchor, whatever. Because I used I used to listen to back uh, – I listened to – what is it? Uh, 
Cincinnati Picker, he did a podcast with Lonnie. Yeah. John and Lonnie. Uh, what is it? She Guys Without Jobs. jobs. Yeah. I listened to it on Anchor. And I was at my, I had Anchor. So <laughs> I think Anchor got bought by Spotify. I don't know. I've never so, even heard anyway. of it. But I didn't want to, I don't know how to, ch- I haven't, I don't know how to change it. I haven't figured it out. I haven't really looked into it, but I don't know how to change it to something else. So I didn't want to put the audio version on there and not be able to change it. And there's just random, like something called what's the deal on there. And it's just one What's podcast. the deal with that? Why couldn't you change it? What's the deal with that? I don't, well, cause I haven't really paid attention enough. Cause we did episode one on like a whim. I could do this all just, day. What's the yeah. deal with only doing one episode on there? <laughs> yeah. You see, there you go. I think it's a good name. So is that the name? I don't know. There are a, a, a look it up. There's probably a ton of them of that too. What's yeah? What's the deal? I'm sure. I'm sure there's a ton. But I mean, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know. But I think you're set on coming up with a name that has never been used, right? I don't know. I just yeah. You're just gonna have to scramble a bunch of letters together and whatever. Yeah, sound we might as well be like this. You know the the new user when you sign up for like ebay or whatever they just give you like a bunch of random numbers and letters <laughs> have a bunch of numbers at the end of our name i think that's what we have to settle with you know you think so? All right. i don't mean at this rate i mean we might be like six or ten or you know 50 episodes, episodes in without a, without a so name. what's more important getting a name or consistency of doing an episode? <laughs> You got a point there. You put us on this. I that's. I mean, can you just know. keep putting out episodes without a name? Like, can we just be on your channel, know. seventeen that's... episodes in before we finally settle? And it's gonna be like a bad name when we settle. It's gonna be like the worst name ever. It is. I, I'm, 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 pre- I'm pretty good at reading between the lines, Jimmy, and I'm pretty much reading that Dan wants this podcast name to be Dan and the man podcast. There's no other re- there, You can't change my mind with that. He, any, any name that we gave him, he shoots down, he Googles it and says, Oh, there's 75, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. uh, other, other podcasts, uh, you know, oh, that will this never the, work, but clearly the perfect opportunity for me to say that my submission, okay. I was going for that whole clickbait that the pickers use. And it was going to be the Buy It All podcast. Buy It All. Because every dang picker out there has a video that says, I bought it all. Anyways, that was my submission. Now, it well, should my, be shot down. It should be shot down. I just wanted to submit it there. No, so my, all the people can that are listening can say, that's a terrible idea, Jimmy. Go ahead, Joseph. Well, well mine is Dan, Dan and the Man podcast. And that's your submission? Uh, yeah. That's I already know you got two votes. Because... because <laughs> I can read between the lines. It, it, it has Dan written all over it. I hate. I don't like Dan and the Man. I already switched. I, I, you can see all I did with my channel. My channel was originally Art Vandalay, and then I switched to Dan and the Man. I'm I fine with, with it being Dan and the Man. It could be like the the Pat McAfee one, where like it's named oh, after you, and then, and then we're all just like we're the secondary host, and you're the star of the show. But you have to stand I'm up. Right. The star of the show because uh, Pat stands up. stand up and, and, and tank tops. <laughs> no, tops. Wait, wait. <laughs> this, this is the part where if you're, I don't know if you're ever, I do have my Pat McAfee action. <laughs> of course, uh, he's got the WWE <laughs> Pat McAfee action figure. You, you like know, WWE in arm's reach, in arm's reach. I think he put on a pair of white gloves to pick it up. Too. He's like, hold on, let me put on my white gloves, I'll take it out of the glass case. <laughs> I, I got my I got my uh macho man in a man. <laughs> the hot rod macho man. I have that one too. I got them all. Oh no. What was the latest one he put out? Was it, uh... it was it was the Macho Man. Oh Macho Man. Okay, the Macho I was a, Man. I was the first one to buy it on the uh when you guys were at the reseller rally. I went on uh oh. I went on whatnot and I saw they were in the store, so I bought it. I he had fifty on there and I, I was there was fifty on there when I bought it. I was the very first one to buy it. Check you out. That's just a just a little brag for you. Oh, he did it on the the one the the auction that he did for charity, right? That was in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah he had fifty on there, and then I think fifty on his website. So I got, well, I guess technically I don't know if, if I bought it first. I don't did know he if they're the market number one? No, you should have asked him to. You should one, one, I should have. One, uh... I gave him more work to do. <laughs> I give Kevin more work to do. Anyway. So why don't why don't we ask a uh people for suggestions or if they want to vote on any name any name that was given 
yeah. you know, the three, view, the, the three you viewers like that we'll have. So, so I, I can just yeah, ask Sonia. Yeah, yeah. I can just go ask Sonia. <laughs> Lauren, <laughs> we'll get. We had. Uh, we did, I, I was. I was very happy with our last. With our last episode. Yeah, you guys got. Did, uh, I mean, I haven't done a video on my channel, and I did a live a few weeks ago, but I haven't done a video in a while, and so I was surprised. And we're almost at two hundred. It's one ninety seven right now, so I'm. I'm happy. I was. I was. I was. I was surprised, and it was very. I was very <laughs> excited. So it's kind of nice. So that was fun. So I'm sure we'll get. To, uh, they are giving submissions. Oh. I should. I gave uh, props to these. There was some people that gave me uh, suggestions in the uh, in the comments before. Let me see if I find them. Yeah, uh, well, I, I, I read them. Good. One of them sounded you, familiar. Like you might have just said it right now. Really? Was it? Was it you? Did I not res respond? It's been a it's no, been a crazy weekend. It was, it was. Oh, I don't remember. I I don't remember. I'm not even gonna act like I can remember. I uh Jack Jackass Retro Matt he Absolutely. said reseller re reseller repeat podcast reseller repeat but you're the only one that's repeating a podcast Joe yeah, and I there's, so only, like yeah, there's only there's only one, one repeater on here <laughs> and it's all this, this and is he doesn't new, new for us and he's on a he's on a he is on a probationary period type thing like I can easily be. <laughs> Pulled into the back room and had it said, "You're out of here, bud." Well, Dan's, Dan's not afraid to do that because clearly, he just you know, <laughs> he's a, he's a real. <laughs> I, I always guess we should have Mike. Uh, we could have Mike just name the podcast. We could whatever Mike says. The February House <laughs> that would be great. The February. <laughs> 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 that's not a bad one. I see what you did there. That's not actually, that's not actually terrible. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I don't oh, even I... know. Do you guys have the inside inside scoop? Why he's? The, I've never asked him why he's the January house. Do you guys know why he's the? Yeah. I mean, I know why you're the Philly picker. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't understand Art Vanley, but I understand Dan and the man. Why is Mike the January house? It's it's actually a pretty cool story. I think. If I'm it's not mistaken, long story. Should I get some popcorn? No, uh, I, I'll give you the abbreviated, short version. I think is that his son, when he was younger, mentioned that he met Mike's father at the January house. Just randomly came up with that, but the story behind it is Mike's father had passed away. Oh, okay. So years was... before Mike's son was born, so they okay. never met, but he knew his. He mentioned it in passing to Mike that he met, I don't know, Grand Pop or Pop Pop at the January house. And I think that's, it's always stuck with him. And that's the name that he, that he came up with. That's the kind of name you, you, you got stick with. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, stick with that it. yeah. Just sticks. yeah. That's awesome. No, that's a, yeah. that's actually a great story. Yeah. Mike, if I, if I, said, with our if, names. if I said it wrong, Mike, you can correct me in the comments yeah. or, or when you take my place, you can, or, <laughs> or episode down the line when, you know, we get rid of Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is gonna be a theme until you guys do it. I'm just I'm I'm here. I'm a punching bag. I'm just riddle me with those. I, I did. I'm, I'm look. I was looking for a couple other suggestions of names that someone left on a comment last week, but I did see this comment was from uh, Chris Cajun reseller. He said to uh, leave Mike a posh love letter because last week we were talking about. How I was almost a posh ambassador. Now, Jimmy, do you sell on Poshmark? Because I know Joe has, doesn't sell on. I don't. On, on Poshmark. This is good. this is awful. I've been people have told me you need to expand, but I'm strictly eBay. Dangerous. Only eBay. Only eBay. Yep. Uh, it's something that Sonia is going to work on this winter because I have a lot of hats and clothing, um, and I and shoes, and I want to get those over on Posh, but. Sonia going full time. She's going to be the one that works on it. That's going to kind of like be her baby, if you will, to take yeah. on that and learn learn how to use some of one of the cross listing, whatever cross listing, whatever. What are they called? App or do, what do they yeah, call do you them? List on, do, do you guys list on your phone or computer? I list on my phone. I used to list only on my computer, but I've 
probably two year ago, two years ago, I switched to listing on my phone, and that was for eBay. That was the best decision I made. Like I list so fast on my phone. Yeah, what's the phone you do? Phone. We both phone? list on our phone. Oh, we, I guess, so we have to, I, I always hear this a lot in podcasts too, for context, Sonia is your wife. And yes. you guys moved to Ohio and she's, yes. she's doing full-time reselling with you. We have to give context for our, for our listeners, right? Yeah. I've yeah. learned that. For, for those of you that are just, <laughs> just, just learning about old school flips, Jimmy, old school flips. We didn't even introduce ourselves. You guys, this is Dan. Wait, wait, he's over here. This is Dan in demand. Go check him out on Instagram, YouTube. Even though you're on his channel right now, this is <laughs> Joe the Philly Picker, and I'm Jimmy Old School Flips. And yes, yeah, Sonia is my wife. She actually just started YouTube, Sonia Thrifts. She has like three videos out. Um, nice. And she is now full time with me. We are both full time resellers out here in Bucyrus, Ohio. In where? Can you spell that? Can you spell it? Common spelling. B U Cyrus. <laughs> is there a Y in there? Yeah, is there a Y? Can I buy a couple vowels? <laughs> it's B U C Y R U S. B U Cyrus. Oh, just like it sounds. Yeah. Um, Ohio. So, Ohio. Mid, pretty much close to the middle of Ohio. We're just a little bit north of the center of Ohio. All right. Well, I was going to, if you guys both do uh, uh, listening on your phone, I, that's what I do, and I cross list with Vendu, and like I, I've been. I, I mean, I don't want to plug. I don't want to plug Mike. I don't want to plug Mike. it, but here's my link. No, no, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna plug. I'll, I'm gonna plug Mike. Mike turned turned me on to it last year. I've been doing it for like almost a year, and, and uh -huh. it's so easy. Like, so when you're ready to go cross, like if you use your phone, if you don't, I tried the uh, list. And I'll say it because I'm not spot. Like, I, list perfectly. I tried it, but I don't. I don't use it on my computer. So, like, I didn't like it because I don't list on my computer. This is literally so. like peer pressure back in, like, hey, all the gay hey, Mike said you should try this. Hey, all the cool kids are. No, he talked about it forever. <laughs> and then finally, like, I tried, decided to try it. I loved it. Yeah, I think Mike's been using Vendu uh, for a long time. I think ever since I met Mike, he was. Yeah, he was using, using it. For, it. Yeah. But I'll I, say, I, I'm, I'm like Jimmy. I don't, I'm, I'm eBay. I know yeah. it's not the best thing and anything could happen. Your account could be suspended, whatever, and you're. But, so you got Macari. I tr I tried buying a pair of Hoka's from you a few weeks ago. You wouldn't respond. <laughs> I, I sent him a message and wondering if you're still available, and I never got a reply. I just got buy, I think that's that's the Joe customer service way right there. That's how he does. <laughs> no, I'm just, I, actually, probably man, three years ago, I did use Vendu, so it's probably I'm changed good. a lot since then. And I cross listed some toys to Mercari. Um, and I have actually talked about this before. I stopped Mercari because they had they used to have an issue with the labels. That's, like that's why I stopped. Print, you I'm couldn't Macari. print a four by six label on a thermal printer. Like it literally just, was not on a Windows PC. You couldn't do it. You had to have Apple to even try to attempt to. to and even with Apple, you had to like go through all these back channels. You had to pay some guy in an alley just to get the label. Like it was crazy just to get a four by six label. So I stopped, and I haven't gone back since. Like I literally never went back to it. Same I just here. had Macari. Oh, go ahead, Joe. No, same same reason why I stopped. I was tired of changing printers and trying yeah. to figure this out and <laughs> screenshotting it on on the on the Apple and yeah. and I, I just I just do I just do uh, I do free shipping on Macari because even if you do their shipping now they can you can do four by six labels, but their right. their tiers of doing shipping is the absolute worst it's the it's like for just like t-shirt i think it's like seven dollars and 40 cents for someone to ship it like it's gonna cost like five bucks like yeah so, so you just I, up I always, the price of your item and then do free shipping like you add yeah, your so, cost of shipping like you're if it's gonna cost you five dollars for a label you add that cost to your price right it's so and i don't because then people you try to do that wiggle room if you list on makari where they tell you um Oh, you're you're way past what people are gonna pay for this. If you remember when you're listing oh. stuff, it'll tell you like you're way overpriced. Yeah, but you're yeah, like yeah. factoring that shipping. But I uh, I sell mostly clothes and shoes, so right. like I can kind of if I don't if I don't have if I kind of know what everything is gonna cost me to ship, just because I know I'm at worst right. I'm probably gonna use a bubble mailer, so I know what it's gonna cost me. So I just do it that way. I don't have a lot of sales, and the only reason I cro I only am a listing on Macari 
is because I I use that ven- it like the venue. It's so easy. But yeah. I need to try it. Uh, you know, maybe hey. I'll reach out to a couple. What are they called? Cross listing. What are they called? Is it apps or programs yep. or what? representative? Representative. I'm gonna call a representative Where? and be like, listen. Do you know who you're talking to right now? Oh, I, I didn't know if you're going to talk about that or a, a pot like a VA, like a virtual assistant. Because I tried that out too. I did two no. weeks of Posher VA. That that's what we we're. I was getting to with the uh, getting ambassador, doing ambassador, and I had to get a love letter sent out on Poshmark to become an ambassador. I still don't. Know, <laughs> I still don't know what you get with being an ambassador, but I. I figured out what i had to do to send a love letter so i sent a love letter to somebody i bought a pair of of a sleeping pants from oh, someone whoa, take it easy. and yeah, i gave fresh. them a five i gave them a five star rating and then told them how wonderful i loved i got some uh harry potter uh sleeping pants i told them i loved them the, the <laughs> pants not them not sent, the pictures, <laughs> sent pictures of him wearing them <laughs> Okay. Dan's over here sliding into people's DMs on Poshmark. Like, what's so, happening? So is that what goes on on Poshmark? Yeah, yeah. Well, I so on Poshmark before because Poshmark has like the best. Uh, they're they're really cool when you like someone doesn't want like you're pretty much every sales are final on there. Like there's if if someone if, I don't remember if it's if you accept an offer or if they accept an offer if you try to ship it out instantly it has like a three hour window where. Like it can get canceled, but after that, it's like done. And then if you try to like return something, like it goes through, you have to go through a big, it's like a big ordeal. But one time someone slid into my DMs because they bought a pair of jeans and they didn't, they didn't fit. So they like sent me pictures of them wearing the jeans and showing me how they didn't fit. And it was really weird. It was really weird. Was it a guy or? It was, a, it was a guy, and but he, it was a women's jeans. I was confused. Is that... I just didn't... Okay. Uh, sliding into your was the was it like were the no. pants at least zipped up and everything? Were they at the, they weren't at the ankles no. or anything? They, 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 they? Couldn't, they couldn't close them. But Poshmark started with me, and they had they had to reposh the jeans. They it's a reposh. You a picture of the jeans not being able to close. They didn't fit. They uh, didn't fit none, of, nothing fell out of the picnic basket. <laughs> no apples no. fell out of the picnic <laughs> basket, did they? No. Right. But I, I mean, so, what, so what's the What's the three hour window that they have to wait before you send it out? That's just the... I don't remember if they sent me an offer. I just it just happened to me this weekend, uh, um, on Friday, Friday or Saturday. They someone I think I can never remember if they send an offer and I accept it. If I try to ship it right then and said they have three hours, or if I send an offer and they accept it, it's one of those two. I don't remember. Like I don't, I can never remember. We're supposed to be the There's... Poshmark expert because me and Joe don't. <laughs> I'm like, I'm this, I mean, I, mean, I feel, I feel like if you're going to be an ambassador, you should be. Oh, no, like, I am an ambassador. Oh, you're. Oh, you're, that's, oh, I, you're you keep on, I keep on getting sidetracked. I did do the love mail there, and I am an ambassador, an ambassador level one now. Oh, congratulations on your promotion. Thank you. <laughs> what is that? What does an ambassador level one mean? You get no pictures idea. of unbuttoned pants coming in, or what? I don't know. Do it you, didn't help my sales this weekend on there at all. I know that. I had two. I had two sales. You get feedback on Poshmark. Yeah, they like you get ratings. Ratings. If they rate, like if you when you sell something, you have to you ship it, and then when it gets there, the the buyers have three days to rate you, and then they'll release your money until they'll release your money. And if they don't rate you after three days, you automatically get your money released to you. Uh, like probably five out of six times, or five out of ten, six. Five out of ten times people don't. About half the time people don't rate me, about and so I have to wait forever. Six, about half the time, they don't. Yeah, so, or, go ahead. No, they don't rate. It's like you wait around forever, and then eventually so, people. So that would be. I'm gonna. This is gonna be a segue. Let's see if Dan catches on. So that would be a scenario where you could. You, it would be okay to reach out to the seller and say, "Hey." Oh. Or the buyer, and hey, leave me some feedback. Like that would be a scenario where that would be okay to oh. request, like demand feedback. That's a scenario I, where I would accept that. Oh, so you're looking for my segue into because <laughs> I heard Joe go, Oh, because Joe knows that this happened to me on there. Joe, I don't know if you're going to remember this. So I'm going to start telling this story. Tell, tell away, Dan. Tell away. I bought a pair, I bought a pair of boots last year. 
Oh yes, he did. You, you remember now? I'm gonna start. I, I bought a pair of boots on on. Did you buy them Poshmark. from Joe by any chance? No, no. I did from. I bought them on a Friday. He bought them from Gale. I remember. Yeah, I don't remember the guy's name. We could call him. We'll call him Joe for this segment. Ah, but, but it was Gale. I, bought, I remember the story. Oh, is it Gale for oh, real? Yeah. Gale. But I bought. I bought the. I bought the boots on Friday, um, and then you have like three days to ship. Like it got to, they waited until Poshmark sent me a message and said that I could cancel the order because they wouldn't ship the order. Yeah. And I like, I wanted the boots. They were a pair of, I was getting fancy. It was a, it was a pair of boots for me. I, well, I mean, like, they're Ugg, they're Ugg boots. I was well, so you're pumped, an ambassador. You, know. you got them. They, they were, they were boots with the fur. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nah, I mean. <laughs> and I, so I didn't cancel the order. The guy finally shipped them. And then when I got them, like literally, like, so they give you an alert that I got shipped. And when I got it, it was like five o'clock at night when I got the package and I brought it in here and I set it down. And I was like, I'll look at them in the morning. The guy within like an hour was messaging me, asking me to rate him so he could get his money. And I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. And I said, okay. And then like the next, I waited a whole day. And then he messaged me again. He's like, you, he's like, can you rate me so I can get my money? And then I, I don't think I can look, but I don't think I respond. I, I ended up was like, I was so mad. I was like, I'm going to wait my full three days to yeah. make this guy wait. It's on my terms now, bud. You're on <laughs> but my I did it because now. you know, why I did not because I talked to Mike. I talked to Mike, the January house, the January house. Yeah. My, mind I, you, Mike, this, this was like a, 6 30 a.m text that dan had a problem like yeah. this was <laughs> all hands on deck folks. yeah all drop everything deck. dan has a posh problem and that posh problem was should i should i leave a feedback for this guy or should i wait make him wait for i wanted Gale. to make him wait i would have made him wait so they made, you, they made you wait for your boots with the fur that's that's my thought but mike mike's mike's cool like Mike is Mike, please like, now you know why we'd rather have Mike on than you. Because yeah. you and I think <laughs> too much alike. We're both like yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I made I made sure that like I was the broker in that phone call. Like I answered, Mike didn't answer. So I made sure we woke Mike up to call Dan to talk Dan down a little bit. You know, you screen all Mike's calls is what you're saying. You screen well, all Mike's calls. <laughs> A lot of the times, it's it's panic from Dan. A little bit of a little bit of chaos involved. Yeah. I got you. I, and it was, I don't. I don't know. I don't see that. I don't see that that being real. Oh, you, you you will give it time. <laughs> but but that my chaos. I can't no, be but, chaotic. Well, I've already because we already since we've already discussed another feedback that Dan is okay. dealing with right now, with, where someone's like demanding feedback on eBay, right? Like they were like, yeah. Oh, I almost had, almost uh, ruined this Saturday. Almost ruined this Saturday. Saturday. All hands were on deck. Okay, I see where you're going. I see what you're saying, Joe. Yeah, yeah. we were like, you know, yeah. Like, Saturday, you know I a guy messaged me, and then it was a it was a busy weekend on uh, uh get, like on Friday. I missed this, so I did I did a whatnot show on Thursday. Um, I had a absolute dumpster fire of a day trying to ship my stuff on Friday, and I I got a message off of eBay, and it was talking about um. That they get, they received an item that I, that I got in the, uh, that I that I sold to them. It was a shirt, the polo shirt. Everything looks good. I'll wait for feedback until you give it to me, and then I'll 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 give you feedback. I All didn't right. see it on on Friday, Saturday morning. Like they didn't even wait twenty four hours after that, and they just got it Saturday morning, six thirty in the morning my time. They messaged me and said. Uh, we didn't. We haven't received feedback from you. We're hoping. We're wondering what was wrong um, that you can't give us feedback, so we could give you feedback. And that I saw that. User, what if the username was like, "Remember me? My name is Gail." Okay, <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> I I messaged him back and just because I do. I don't know how you do it. I do. Um, I do automatic feedback. When yeah, yeah. For someone sure. leaves me positive feedback, I give them automatic feedback and i think mine says do... the second they buy it they get the positive. second they second they buy it. when they buy when they pay when they pay right yeah yeah so, so i used was... to do that oh what do you do it, Joe? 
No, I, I do that too. But this was, I want to set the story. This was 6.30 in the morning, Dan's time. So 7.30, Jimmy and I's time, right? You're, yeah, we're yeah. the same. We're, we're in the, we're in the correct uh, time zone, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. The normal one. So yeah, they, the they, uh, so Dan, should I block this guy or not? No, <laughs> All right. no, All right. no, no text behind it. No picture yet. You know what I mean? So I'm on, the way good, to, yeah. I'm on the way to the soccer game. I see it. Oh, Dan's in crisis mode. Got to pull over. Pull over. So. And this is my first time in a Code Red. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. like the new guy. And Joe's like, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Uh, like this, <laughs> the, calm down. It's going to be okay. We're going to talk him through this. We're going to get through this feedback, Just, you oh, know, yeah. dilemma. So I, I no, but it was interesting that they were like demanding that like you leave them feedback, you know, your system already did, right? It didn't oh, no. because I do, I do pot when they leave positive because oh, I did do it the way you do it when they pay, which I'm fine with that too. But when, when someone pays me and then I left them positive feedback and then they're an absolute disaster afterwards, like yeah. I didn't get my item or they do some, I've had that a couple times. Where they they try, I feel like I'm trying to get scammed on things that I was like, I give them positive feedback. I don't want to do it. So now I switch it to when they give me feedback. And then, uh, so I switch well, to that. That's interesting. I've never thought of, I'll say I didn't even know that was an option. Did they, is that, has that always been that way to where you could set it that way? As, as far as, well, I figured it out when I, when I switched it, I did oh. do that. Cause I used to like have a time, like once a week I would go, this is not a brag either. But like when, because uh, I only sold seven this weekend. He's all like, like it's a lot. That's a lot to. That's a lot to get. I mean, if you're sitting there trying to do feedback all the time, yeah. Like I don't. Sure. I, no I, like, way. I, I don't know if it's on just on a store though. If you had it, because I did have, I had like you a, I had a, a yeah, I think so because I have a, I had another account that I was selling sports cards on that wasn't a store or anything, yeah. and I once a week I would have to go through and and I would leave feedback because I I didn't have enough. A listings um i only had like a hundred listings so i i didn't like have a ton so i didn't do a store yeah so yeah. i think i had to do it but it's so for those listening I, I think dan is saying to have the automatic feedback so if you don't have a store that's not an option you can't I use think, automatic I feedback i'm pretty sure he's right about that so I if you're looking so. for it if you don't have a a paid store you're just using the free listings that ebay have you probably don't have this option just so you know right. listeners yeah. out there the so that's Joe's, Joe's wife, my wife, and Dan's mom. You three, if you decide, <laughs> we say it like that. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. My mom doesn't care about eBay. <laughs> doesn't care. So, I think that was it. I think that's it on on on. Oh no, I gave. I told them that. I told them that I would give them the feedback. Uh, and then I couldn't figure out. I couldn't figure out how to give feedback. I didn't know how to do it. And then I finally figured it out. That's it. It's That's what you had to, ah, that makes sense. You had to ask them to leave it first. Well, no, I ended up leaving it. I ended up, I can go in and do it too. Like, if I, don't. I, I, so it was, it would have been. So, how many messages back and forth between you two? Four. It was, they messaged me, they messaged me, I messaged them, and then they messaged me back that they were going to proceed after then I told them. Cause then I was like, all right, if that's what you're worried about, I'll just. I'll just do it. Like, but I had to figure out how to do it. It was such a waste of time. They could have just left me feedback and they would have saw, they would, if you're, if, I mean, I guess I could just leave it too if they paid. Or it was just a weird situation, I guess. I understand the I Dan code red. I understand the Dan code red. But Joe, how would you, would you have said, hey, it's in your hands, buddy? Would you have said, leave me feedback and then mine will leave you feedback? Or would have you done what Dan did? I, I, I think I probably wouldn't have responded. To be honest, they would never. It would still be sitting here being resolved because I was scared they were going to give me bad feedback for not responding. True, true. Although uh, that would be some kind of. I think you could take that. Although you guys don't have the concierge that I know of. So, we, well, well <laughs> do you have one? I have. E yes, I have eBay concierge. You have it. Like right? Oh, have yeah. you talked to them recently? Because we had not it. recently. Uh, huh? No, we had it. We had, you want to check it? that number. I don't have a yeah. number. I don't have a number. Oh, oh yeah. We had a no, number. I push a button and they call me. Oh, oh really? Oh. Man, Jim, you're you're up in your stock here. You might I, that. Request, 
It literally says request a call, and within three minutes, I get a call. Well, Mike, and Andy, every, so, so you might be here. So you're, 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 you're coming up a little bit. Mike, up. are you hearing this, Mike? <laughs> yeah, right. uh, press, press the button right now and see if they call. Ooh, let's do it. Let's see. <laughs> You want me to do it? No, I don't have anything to talk. Let me see if I have a reason to talk to <laughs> That'd be hilarious. If, Tom, like, who, you, if they get a response and it says new number, who this? Like, <laughs> what if I just don't answer? Who this? <laughs> who this? <laughs> tell tell <laughs> me you're calling. You're calling for your friend, and I'm have a friend of a speaker. Friend. And have Dan I don't want talk. to lose my concierge. Yeah, it's probably if, not. A can good I idea. say, hey, will you guys slide into my DMs like Poshmark? <laughs> <laughs> seriously hmm. one of these days one of these times i'm gonna have to because you know i want to talk to them when i have a reason to talk to them and then i'll i'll do it on here like i'll be like all right i'm gonna call and you'll see it says ebay it said when, it, when they call me it says ebay on my phone that's because i named it that it's not because it's any kind of <laughs> before you do that we're gonna have to have sonia say hi into the microphone so we can uh, that he doesn't just have it his, his wife's phone number is eBay on his phone, and when he presses it, he calls it. <laughs> well, Actually, I'm, I'm texting eBay, what's for dinner? Yeah, what's for dinner? <laughs> hey, eBay, are you done packing in there? You guys figured that out on your own, yeah. that stone is... eBay. We, my we know, I mean, we she does all the packing and all that stuff, so it makes sense. Yeah, well, what do you do? What do I do? I am, <laughs> I am the picker extraordinaire. Oh, I believe that's, that's your title. official title. Official title. I have the gift of being a halfway decent picker. That's it. That's all. Well, I've seen some of your sales. I've seen some of your stuff. I I would say you're a good picker. It's you know it's he a close his a, eyes. He closed his eyes when he said that. Yeah, I mean, he's I close my eyes because. I mean, I have a concierge. So. I mean, I, you you have eBay in your pocket. I mean, yo, it's a good thing we we, we got rid of Mike and brought him in. So I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is working out. I mean, you, you know, I'm you're not gonna find me in an attic finding an all over print Darth Maul t shirt, but yeah. no, I love that's I love that you found that. By that's that's something I'll, a joke I'll always run with. I'll, I've used that. At sales, I think you've seen it in my yeah. video where I like yeah, ask them. By any chance, do you have in your attic an all over print Darth Maul t shirt? And they're like, What? Um, <laughs> no, it, it you know, that's a topic we should talk about. Something like it takes a while, and like mm, it's hard to say. Some people aren't good pickers, but some people aren't. Dan's sitting right here, so we'll talk about it later, Joe. <laughs> Joe, I'm not. I'm, I'm I'm laughing at Jimmy. I want him to make him feel welcome. He's got the <laughs> no, no. He's it got takes a number. Really good picker, though. It does. I mean, that's that's getting too serious, though. But like it, I th- I watch some of my old videos and I see the stuff I miss. And I'm like, what was wrong with me back then? Like it doesn't just happen overnight. You don't just wake up and you're a good picker. It's a. I mean, it took a while for me to get halfway. I call myself halfway decent at it. Is that yeah. that's about where I'm at? I, I I think there's a lot of luck that goes along with it too. I mean, because you could be somewhere where you're just not finding anything. You know what I mean? Yep, right place, sure. right time. You know what I mean? It goes back to and that t t shirt I found the second day of an estate sale in the attic. I mean, there yeah. probably was a hundred people that went through you know that whole estate sale that before me. You know what I mean? And right. I just happened to be right place, right time. Nobody opened that bin, and that's where a, a seven hundred dollar t shirt was sitting. You know, yep. so no, I mean that sure. doesn't make, that doesn't you know I know I'm not saying that makes me a good picker. It just makes me I was at the right place at the right time. There's a lot of times I, I end up at the flea market, you know, ten o'clock in the after, you know ten o'clock a.m. or whatever, and people have been out there since six a.m. and they're still an yeah. item just sitting there, you know, sitting there. So yeah, because you can be a good picker, and maybe the town you're in or the big city you're in, like there's a lot of competition. There's just not yeah. a lot of good stuff, like, yeah. and you can go to yeah. For sure, yeah. But there's, you know, there's something to be said for someone that picks a torpedo trash can and ships it. Yeah. <laughs> or the uh, the pheasants that you were selling at the reseller. Uh, the, oh yeah, I sold that that taxidermy pheasant. Yeah, I, that was another ten dollar pickup that yeah. I sold for over two hundred. Pheasants. It's, 
it was a taxidermy yeah. pheasant. Yeah, and that that thing that's been gone. I haven't received any feedback on it, but I also it's they've had it for a while, so I feel pretty uh, good about it. Be like Dan's buddy and reach out to him. Demand it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna reach out. Hey, I know you bought this for two hundred some dollars, but could you please leave me feedback? Oh, I get yeah. so. I just sold something recently that was like we're, uh, I don't even think it was like a ton of money, but I was always happy when they when they finally just leave me feedback. They just I don't know. I feel like no feedback sometimes is just as good. I don't um, want to know. You got I'm it. right there with you, man. You know, to me, no feedback is just as good as positive yep. feedback. And like I'll even say I'm nervous just talking about feedback. Like I'm so scared that in the next couple of days, just because karma chameleon is like not karma that's not the right word but just we jinxed it right like we jinxed sorry guys we're all gonna get negative feedback in the next three days uh, I'm, I'm always scared i'm always scared i'm gonna get it. i check all the time like i i honestly checked this weekend because i didn't know i didn't know why i was um i wasn't i didn't sell so much like <laughs> that's so like, like how many times a day do you check your feedback score down a few times probably <laughs> joe like i Joe don't he ain't get that Joe doesn't I'm gonna be lying I check my feedback score at least 10 times a day 10 times really? a day yeah I'm I hate I I am a, and I don't even like talking about this right now because I know I yeah. know the next time I check it, it's gonna be bad news and I'm I, gonna have to I, call I, my concierge and I don't want to have to call my concierge whenever I try to call someone they always tell they always tell me it's how the, how they feel it's just how the I'm like this is crazy to me because they'll I'll, I try to, I mean, I try to fight every, every one that, cause yeah. I, I didn't, usually I have, I have a reason of why I don't think I deserve what they gave me. Cause I try, I am like, I feel like I'm overly honest when I'm selling something, which I don't know if everyone thinks that way, but I always feel that way. So when there's some kind of issue, like, I'm like, I, I did everything I could. I know, I know yeah. I've had one where someone gave, they, they, they said it was, they bought a single of a CD instead of like a whole CD. It was a single. And they gave me mad feedback for that. And I was they said it was a DVD. And I'm like, literally, it's not a DVD. I'm like, well, that's how they feel. And I'm like, you are nuts. Yep. And uh, they finally, they, I'm like, you can go. I always go in and look to see where they, uh, like, who they give feedback to. Right. And then I'm like, they have, like, a billion negatives that they give people. They're just looking for trouble. Yeah. And I'll do that when I get offers, too. I'll look. That's and the one I'll, that you I'll, should I'll block. block if you if okay. you message Joe and I, should I block this guy? Yes. Yeah. You should block yeah. that person. Now, how about have you guys ever left negative feedback for somebody? I won't. I I will. My, you know, I always want someone to give me the. What's I? I do. I'm terrible with words, but like, like, give courtesy, me an opportunity. Courtesy. Yeah, the courtesy of reaching out to me. And letting me try to resolve it, and um, you know, most cases that's what I have is you know when someone's going, someone's either they're not happy or I did something wrong or whatever. Most people will give you the op the opportunity to resolve it, the courtesy, like you said. So I will always reach out. Um, I almost did one time because the person wasn't trying to help me resolve it, but I still didn't. I still, I yeah. still. Just, I, what I what I had to do was end up doing an item not as described return, which I didn't even want to do that, but I had to. Like it was, I bought a hat and it was a kid's hat. It was a kid's size uh, hat. Like I wear, I don't have that. I mean, I wear a normal size hat. I, I wear a normal fitted size hat, and I couldn't even get it on my head. Like it was, and I was like, this is a kid's <laughs> size hat. Like I had it literally. So that's where, you know, so four on the dot, four on the snap on the snap. And I literally had on the very last snap and I still couldn't get it on my hat I'm, on my head. I'm like, this is a kid size hat. Like, and they were like, Oh, it's no, it's not. You know, they wanted to argue with him. Like, and so I showed them the comparison of my hat versus that one and everything. And they, they, they wanted to argue with me. So finally I was like, I just had to do an eye net. Like, this is not an adult hat. This is a kid's use size hat. So I'm returning it. And I still didn't even leave them negative feedback, but that was the closest that they were like, trying to argue with me over it, and I was like, it's obviously a youth size hat. And I left a four star rating on Poshmark before. <laughs> a four? full star down. There's out of five, right? Four out of five. Out of five. Yeah. What, 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 what I, the date? I, I, I was being generous. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like I, but what did they do? I bought a uh so I bought a I bought in the springtime I got it I was really into puzzles. So I was messing with wanting to put together puzzles. 
And when you go on, when you go on, I wanted to look for a puzzle. So when in you go on eBay, time. it's springtime. I wanted to do so. I was doing some puzzles. So I found a deal. I went on Poshmark because, you know, Why did shipping. we have to know the season? I just curious. No, I, no, no, no. We're digging into this. Sorry. Why did we need, why did you feel that we needed to know the season, man? Like, why, why did we I, know the season? You know, like, it, it, birds are chirping and it, it's like, it's, it's warm one day, cold the next. So sometimes you want to. <laughs> Snuggle up and do a puzzle. The next day, it's too nice not to be outside. Did you get the spring? Day. Did you get spring themed puzzles? Yeah, they, they were Disney. They're Disney puzzles. Oh, it was a. It was. They're five hundred pieces, which is a lot, a lot for someone who doesn't do puzzles. Yeah. Yes. Uh, there, but sure. there was four. There was four in there, and they they was like different. It was Peter Pan. They had different uh, themes, and it said. That they are all new except for Peter Pan, and that was put together, and you can see a picture of it. Yeah. So everything else was brand new. So okay, and on Poshmark, if you buy any, the Poshmark has like shipping is. I Wait, think, you can buy puzzles on Poshmark. Yeah, you can buy every. You can buy video games. You can buy everything on there. Never, so you it's a good, to it's go a good to Poshmark to buy puzzles. That's that's why I bought the boots there too, because boots boots are like well over three pounds, so they're gonna charge. I found the same boots a lot of times. If I find something I want to buy, I'll look on eBay, I search for it, and then I'll go search for it on Poshmark. Uh, the boots that I bought that I gave the that, that the person gave me the uh, with the, the fur, they want, the yeah, fur. they wanted the they wanted the feedback so bad. The same boots were on eBay, but they were they were sending them in a large flat rate box, so gotcha. it's like eighteen dollars to ship, and yeah. it was like last year it was seven eighty seven on on Poshmark to ship. So like a puzzle is it's like over two pounds, like or you know it's two pound rate. So it's right. going to be more expensive, but on Poshmark it's seven ninety seven now. So I always that's when I first started listing on Poshmark. I only I only list because I listed everything by hand, jeans and shoes. I would list all that on Poshmark because it's like you, it's it's a deal for them to. Were they Apple bottom jeans? Sorry, I had, them. Oh. I had them. no, not <laughs> Apple bottom. I never found. Them. I guess if you don't sell on Poshmark either, they have a flat rate shipping and it's all everything goes priority. So oh, and, yeah, and I've heard five, that up, before. Up to five pounds. That makes so sense. I always, no, that makes perfect sense. I always look for stuff is, is a lot of times ex more expensive than uh, like eBay, but like if you you get to heart it, you heart it that you like it, and then <laughs> usually like you can send offers. This, are you sure Poshmark isn't like a dating app and you're just it's like, a, it's I mean uh, swiping, are you swiping left or right or whatever. No, no, no. You heart stuff, not oh, swipe. Heart, oh, heart. hearts. <laughs> it's. I, I like Posh. I like Poshmark. I wish I had more. Sales. Well, you have to say that you're an ambassador. Can an yeah, ambassador an say an ambassador, that he's level yeah. one? Level one. I, when I first when I first level got into reselling, I wasn't as big as a fan of it because like their fees are straight twenty yeah, percent, and uh, totally. like when you're on eBay at, at the time, it was like if you don't do all, all that promoting and all that stuff, I it was like I well it's like twelve thirteen percent, and then yeah, but when you, when I start adding in all the other stuff, it's like almost. I spend close to 20% already on eBay too. So like, and then the shipping's so easy. The only thing you only up to five pounds. Like if you sell a bundle of stuff right. and it's over five pounds, it becomes a mess, but I'll, I'll go. And is oh, it anyway. prior, are they using ground advantage or they just use priority? Just priority. Just and priority. you use whatever, like so you, you can use, use the free boxes too then. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Yeah. So like if you have a big pair of boots, you could throw them in a large flat rate box and then you don't, you don't have to pay like, yeah. It's what it, it's yeah. nice. I mean, it's nice. I Did like you ever it. find that's out why you bought puzzles in the springtime? Did we get to that? No, I was. Yeah, I, I swerved off of that. So no, I, that's I good. I just because that we that led to this. I was just curious if we ever found out why you bought puzzles, five hundred piece puzzles in the springtime. Well, it's, I just wanted. Well, I was wanting to do puzzles, and it was a good deal. I I don't remember. I think I paid like, I think it was like, well, I think it's eighteen dollars or whatever plus the shipping for four puzzles, five hundred pieces. But when I get the puzzles in. Uh, they were all open and they were like half, you could see half, like she said they were sealed. Like you just, and then they just took a picture of the, the, the front and the back. You couldn't see like in the picture of the one that was, she said that was put together and the rest of the get them, Ziploc bags or anything, or was it, it just, uh, Peter Pan was in a Ziploc bag. The rest of them were, they were in a Ziploc bag. They was, did, didn't zip up, but it was in a bag and you could see where they were like, part of it was put together and they were thrown back in the bag. Like oh, they man. obviously weren't new. And that's the reason I bought it is because, Oh, like they're brand new puzzles. 
Right. Now I'm looking at like half used oh, no. puzzles. And... Yeah. And you know what the weirdest thing about puzzles when they're used, they always have hair in that box. Ugh. I think there was <laughs> some hair in there too. I wasn't. No, I already know. Legos. I was trying. Lego oh, and puzzles. They always have hair in there, man. Ugh. We find boogies and hair in Lego. <laughs> my first. Is... <laughs> hey, when I first started reading... boogies and hair. <laughs> oh, that is it. That is a pretty good one. <laughs> or boots with the Our fur. Th- that's another podcast. Oh, boots with the fur. Yo, but Dan, did you put all the puzzles together? No, I, I got I got so annoyed that I've never I never they never touched them. I haven't touched spring, them. Honestly, haven't touched them since. Yeah, I haven't, it's I haven't now touched fall. them. I mean, they're still not. They're now fall time puzzles. You still? I mean, it's getting know. close to winter time. Maybe I'll do. I mean, that's I think maybe that's why I told you the springtime because it's been a long time. Yeah. Okay. That. that may, yeah. 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 I, I got them and they they just they're done like it was done. Have like, you guys ever I, tried? Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Oh, I just I I probably could have because I I had I do have some puzzles in my inventory. I could have probably just grabbed the puzzle out of there and opened it up and not used it. And, so you didn't think about I, returning them, even though uh, you know they weren't as described. It was still a good. I still felt because like, that's why I gave her four stars. Still a good. It's still a pretty decent deal. It was just like oh, I was like I was four I thought, star. They they missed this. They literally. Item not as described, and you just took off one star. Yeah, I'm still happy. I guess. I mean, if I ever put them ever, together, do you ever put into consideration? This is, I think, a good question. Do you ever put in, in a situation like that? Do you ever put into consideration the fact that, like, that stuff gives resellers and what we do a bad name? Like, it's not, it's not good for business in general, reselling business in general. When you when someone does something like that, like, it's not. You know, when someone does a crappy packing job or misrepresents their listing, like in general, it it can scare buyers away from that platform. Does that do you ever think about that, or does that ever concern you at all? I was more worried that they're going to be mad at me for giving them a bad rating. (laughs) You you should have texted Joe and and Mike and Code Red in it. You should have. Springtime puzzles, Code Red. The alert, you know, the red alert emoji comes up. When Dan has that Shut up. an issue, and no, that's we just go was, from there. Have you guys ever tried doing? A, have you ever heard of a Liberty puzzle? Uh, no, I well, no. they're those wooden ones, right? I, I've heard, yeah. I've, I've heard you to be, I've heard you talk about them. Yeah, so like, I've sold. They're COVID. worth a lot of money, by the way. They're worth a ton. Of, even to today, they're worth hundred. Most of the puzzles are worth over a hundred dollars. They're like handcrafted, uh, right? Handcrafted wooden puzzles. So uh, you were talking about, you know, a 500 piece puzzle being hard to put together. Good night. I put together a Liberty puzzle when I bought those nine of them. It took me, my mom and my sister eight hours to put that together. We were going to like put them all together for, for the picture to sell them. And so my mom and my sister came over. We're going to have fun, put these eight puzzles together, and, you know, and take a picture of them. We got one done in eight hours mm. And we were literally just like raging because they were the hardest puzzles. Like the pieces, they're not normal cutout pieces, like die cut pieces. They're like literally like one piece will be a peacock and the other one will be like a person with a cane. And like all these pieces have these weird, like like there'll be a dog, a piece that's shaped like a dog and you got to put them all together. And like it just, you know how you can, oh, well, this one has this shape that fits in there. No, like how do you, where's the human arm shape over here, you know? It was the most impossible puzzle. Like it, it took us eight. I don't think I've ever spent eight hours putting a puzzle together. Like we were sitting there the whole time for eight hours. Was it spring? Was it springtime? <laughs> it was springtime. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and then, then of course this hundred dollar, hundred some dollar puzzle. I'm not gonna say who. They know who they are. They'll probably watch this podcast. Dropped a piece on the floor, and my dog got it. Oh no! So, the, uh, so it was a hundred some dollar puzzle, and it was complete. And now I had a chewed up piece, that I, so I had to lower the price and take the oh, picture no. of the chewed up piece. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, oh. It was, it, so it's, that it's still sold, right? It's still sold. It's still sold for like ninety some dollars. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Those. So by the way, Liberty puzzles—they're in a really easy to spot, like almost like a navy blue box. And they have, and then they have like a square of the picture right in the front, and those things are worth money. I've found, I found one out here in Ohio. Matter of fact, since I've been here, 
which shocked me because they're based out of Colorado. They're based out of Boulder, Colorado, the company. But yeah, I found one over here. Shout out to Erin Rebel Junk. She had a uh, the um, information on a uh, high school sale, like a marching band sale that they mm-hmm. put in the gymnasium. And she, you know, she told told us about it. And we went out there, and yeah, I found that puzzle sitting right on top of all the puzzles. Wow, oh. that's nice. Yeah, all right. What else do we? What else we got? What else we got? What we got. We talk about? I, I just listed a hat for a thousand dollars. A hat. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know that it's worth a thousand, but I listed for a thousand just to see what would happen. Let's see where okay. I just listed it. It's got twenty three views and seven watchers. We can't. It's a three. You can't see listeners. You. It's a three stripe. Holland oil checkered flag trucker hat, and it's in basically mint condition. I, I'm listing it that high just to see. I know it's a valuable hat. I know you can't. Fi- I can't find it anywhere. I've talked to some people that I know that are experienced. This. They can't find it anywhere. So I listed it for a thousand. Now I I'm being realistic with myself. I don't think I'm going to get a thousand, but I also don't want to make the mistake of pricing it too low. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when I listen at a thousand, send me your offers, folks, is what I'm saying. Like, send me offers. Let's see what happens. Um, so I got that and I picked that up for a dollar at a yard sale two days ago. Two days ago for a dollar. I bought a bunch of hats a dollar a piece, and I saw this one and I was like, This is a this is this is gold right here. This is three striper. Um, and it's basically new condition. So We'll see what happens. That's something we can update as the weeks go by. Like if that hat, actually, if I get any offers or if that hat sold, because I'm I'm a if just you're still, above average picker. If you're still on this podcast, if I'm, yeah, if, and if you're not, just have Mike message me. Yeah, yeah. all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I guess that's what I got going. And yeah, I mean, I I ship. I don't remember if it was thirty four or thirty nine items. Sonia boxed them up, and I took them to the post office. We gave the post office a a pumpkin, a pumpkin, um, like candy dish full of candy. Oh, it's so cute! And it was Look vintage. Oh, Tonya, why did you use that one? It's vintage. Oh, Joe, do you do that? Did you get the post office? Candy? No, I I used yeah. to take care of the the fake post office before I moved. Um, because oh. they were really good to me. I I mean, the the fake guy, post office. Yeah, it was like one of those franchise places. It wasn't. You know, oh, the first he gotcha. just like he takes everything you yeah. know <laughs> you, you, you can, uh, you can he takes much... everything and never makes it to the customer but he yeah. takes it <laughs> so i mean it was like one of those stores that like you could pay your bills there if you want it you could you can cash checks you do your money laundry order. you could you know he sold sports cards he, he did everything he was great um uh, that's, where I got my, that's where i got my eagles tickets i mean he would sell everything so he Sorry, would, got that sweatshirt I didn't know. I forget where I got this from. This might have been a Christmas gift. Well, but, that, uh, that, Dan, are you are you metro like big metro area or are you smaller town? You we it, talked about this a little bit. It's like a small smaller town. I think there's yeah, like this, thirty thousand within my town. It's my first time in a small town where like there's one post office. Like we have one post office in our town. I mean, our town has one, but it's it's really. I mean, it's nice. It's nice and big. It's nice. And so I can tell you, like Greg, the guy who works there, he'll be listening to this podcast. So Greg, he's a, so I, those guys are awesome down there. Like I already know their names, the guys that work down there. And so like I want to, you know, they take care of me. Like they're like, yeah, whatever works best for you when you bring the packages down here, we'll do it. And so like, you know, we That's came nice. with the, they. I don't need a receipt. I don't need them the way. I just say, hey, can I watch you scan it? That's it. So I literally I hold the boxes up and they scan, scan, scan. Sure. And so. They take care of me. Like they're awesome, great customer service. So, you know, I've brought them donuts a couple times. Um, now it's close to Halloween. We brought them candy just because, you know, I, again, like the one guy, Greg, he watches all my videos. Like every time I go in there, he, I'm a celebrity, folks. No, no, but we talk about, we joke around and talk about, and he's actually learning, a, you know, he's interested and in, he's starting to go to yard sales. So that, that's you. been kind of fun. It's kind of cool. Like living in Denver area, metro area, it was like, which you know while we're out and about which which post office are we going to stop at today and then most of the time sonia worked right across the street from the big the big hub where everything went to right like all the satellite locations so sonia would just drop it off there and they literally had like a designated area where one guy just scanned packages all day you just drop them there and he scans them all day 
so there wasn't really that like small town like intimate you know feel yeah. to it. it was more like drop your boxes here and see you know and be on your way yeah, i just why... got mine down the, the lever uh you just oh. put, them in, put them in the box i just yeah i just dropped them in the thing just drop. in the, yeah. the drop box that's probably yeah. a lot easier when you do when you do a lot of clothes and shoes. I, I, some right. of the boxes I I have the Franken. What I do a whatnot show, I have to like yeah. I go stand in line. Yeah. What happened with your last whatnot show that with the shipping that was if you don't, if you don't mind sharing oh. that? No, that's yeah, that's uh when I went to go ship my stuff. So like I just work in this room, my eBay room. And it's like pretty small, and I on my whatnot show I sell in like like garage sale category. Well, you you did that. You did a we do a ray train. Yeah, uh, yeah. what's well, on Thursdays now uh I sell like everything so I do when I go I source and usually at thrift stores and I go to the bins so I, I get a lot of plush and stuff so I it, it just takes up so much room I'm looking at all the stuff I have around it takes up so much room so anyway um I went to go I had stuff all in here and then I had a stuff in my kitchen for like a clean out that I needed to go through and I go to do my shipping labels on Friday I did the show on Thursday on Friday I go to do my shipping and like whatnot, their site was down. Like I oh, couldn't man. print any labels or anything. And I was getting, I, I got, it was just like an absolute, like, it <laughs> no, was a I, disaster. I hated I, every second. Do you, do you still, like, I did whatnot a little bit early on. Do they still have a lot of glitches? And I kind of want to ask that with a comment I have about it too. Like, uh, I guess it was when I messaged, because I didn't know if it was my, my computer. Because I had troubles before with using pirate ship. If I used pirate ship to sh ship something, it wouldn't come up. So I I messaged um I I do the the ray train, uh yeah, with yeah. Mike Mike's in that Mike's in the ray train and then uh, again and then he would, Paul, he would Paul do Paul that but him. he won't do this which I'm glad I actually don't I, yeah yeah so <laughs> so <laughs> I asked I asked them if they did if they uh did it if they had troubles. And Jen, Paul, Mike, they all said, or I don't know if they all messaged me back, but um, they Jen mentioned that there was glitches the day before, that there was okay. issues. And uh, anyway, all that to, like, I had just so much stuff. And when I had to go to the post office, I have, I, I didn't make much money. Like, my show was only, it's like, it's, it was like, just, it was le less than an hour, but I only, like, grossed $69 on my show. And it's like this big production trying to do my stupid shipping when I, like, made $69. Like, it was just, like really getting to me, like I'm like I could just list a few more things on eBay to make seventy dollars today, then waste so much time. Yeah, because yeah. I couldn't do shipping, and then I couldn't do the I couldn't mess with the clear out stuff because I had shipping all in all around in here, and I couldn't just drag more stuff in here on top of it. So it's not like I could just walk away from this and do this later, anyway. Right. Like. Yeah, that was that was a another. Oh, uh, code red. Code red. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> It's we need to come up with. I, I want to come up with a, another name for that because Code Red is so. Like, there's got to be something we can use with Dan's name in it. <laughs> Dan and yeah, I'll think of something. Don't worry, Joe. I'll get back. Uh, to you. No, well, but like yeah. I had not like. Do you, let me ask you the because I got like anxiety when like yesterday I was trying to watch Eric OBX was doing a, was doing a whatnot and it kept kicking me out and then I had to go back and so like. Literally, there was like seven old school flips that joined the show. Old school flips. That, and well, I, I think was... I started telling myself, like, man, like he's gonna think I'm leaving and coming, leaving and going. To, uh, and like he's like, what's this guy doing? So like, well, I think there was I just left. There was probably something wrong with I think whatnot itself because I was trying to bid. I was in a in a show and I was trying to buy those bozo the clown yeah. dolls, and I was hitting bid. You know, sliding the, the thing over to bid or whatever. Right. And it just won't let me. It won't take. Not was glitching for sure. Yeah. Then. So then, I, did you see me? It said like seven times. Yeah. Like and then, it was and then just it came out. Being kicked out. Yeah, and then he mentioned he mentioned that because somebody else was trying to bid on another yeah, item yeah. or some on some Beatles stuff that he was that he was. Oh, that's right. But right. He, somebody was trying to bid on that, and it just went all the way with no bid on it. And then he ran it again, and that guy was like, oh, "I I'm trying to bid or whatever." Yeah, and he said, "Go out of the, you know, go out and come back in." And then the next item up was those bozo, the clown things, and I was trying to bid on that, and it won't let me bid either. So I don't know if he got his whole, his show working at not at the end. I left and came back, and that sucks. Yeah, I definitely don't want to bash on whatnot, but like when something like that is going on and whatnot, and not man, and you're the person doing the show, it'll mess. 
yeah. big time with yeah, how much nuts. you can possibly make. Like if nobody, if people want to bid and they can't, and you don't know it, like you're losing out on money for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. But I, I don't, I don't want to bash on whatnot. Although I do. Well, <laughs> you know what? We're gonna let people settle on bashing that you bashed on whatnot. We're yeah, gonna end sure. it there with you just literally bashing on whatnot. And then you can I think about it for the week. Not. So if when we come back next week, if you're not here, it could be because Mike's here, or it could be because whatnot reached out to me. Well, I don't know if it will, but <laughs> you never know. I they think that's the, the whatnot Dan Code Red. Yes. All right. This this has been fun, but we're gonna end it, and we will see you guys uh, next week. <laughs>